What's up, guys? I'm sure you know if you've been following crypto in the past, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe for some of you for many months. Uh, right now, we're seeing a big decline in crypto. Uh, the prices are dropping. Bitcoin recovered maybe slightly to like 54K. But there's an article I want to read to you guys about Coinbase, uh, which, you know, if you're a Coinbase normally like me or if you use Coinbase, it definitely relates to you. So let's pull up the article. I got my latte here. I've been experimenting with different kinds of milk. Um, mm, this one's really good. But uh, let's pull it up. Sorry, I get so uh, sidetracked. By the way, shout out to D4. Uh, one of my Discord members, he sent me a song uh, by him. And he's very talented. Uh, was listening to it on repeat today. Uh, so let's see. Coinbase has worst week of the year as crypto stocks plummet. Bitcoin, Ether, and crypto-related stocks saw a sharp sell-off this week over growing concerns about the health of the U.S. economy. Let me just make sure I'm actually sharing the screen. All right. Coinbase had its worst week of the year, and Bitcoin miner Marathon Digital tumbled 20. And I believe that's the same digital group that's uh, mining Casper. I'm actually not sure. I know there, it does sound very familiar. Look at this right here. September is historically, meaning it has happened before, a difficult trading month for crypto assets, which is also stocks too, by the way. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin miner, ma ma Marathon Digital. So they're also mining Casper, which is good for Casper. Uh, a basket of crypto-related equities tracked by Schwab has uh, fell to its lowest level since February. The industry-wide sell-off reflected growing concerns about the health of the U.S. economy, hence why we're seeing stuff about the recession coming through again, and tracked a broader decline in prices of Bitcoin, Ether, and risky assets in general. The tech-heavy NASDAQ, which crypto is getting closer and closer and more correlated to, uh, slid 5.8% for the week, its worst performance since January 2022. In addition to macro pressures, the calendar is doing crypto no favors. According to CoinGlass, September is historically a difficult trading month. Okay, we know this. Crypto fear and greed, a gauge of crypto market sentiment, is firmly in the extreme fear. What have I said and taught you guys time and time again since I started YouTube? You buy in the fear. You buy in the red. You buy in this color right here, in the red. Or my name back there if you see it, Crypto John. It's red. It's red for a reason because I love it. Like my coffee cup is also red, and because you should be buying in the red. Not financial advice, of course. Got to always put those disclaimers in. But yeah, I mean, Bitcoin is in extreme fear right now. Here's the price, 54400 as of right now. And look, it's literally been dropping. And this is a consolidation too right here. If you look at it since, what is this, since March, it's been you know, a slight decline, but you can even argue and say it's consolidation, uh, which is pretty good because it did hit 74K you know, early. I thought that was a little premature for Bitcoin, and then it came back down, and now it's been the 50K, 55K, borderline 60K range. In a week shortened by Labor Day, Tuesday saw the steepest sell-off in the broader market. After weak manufacturing data stoked fears of an economic slowdown, the 11 U.S. spot Bitcoin exchange had their worst day in over four months at the report as more than $287 million was collectively withdrawn from the ETFs. This is people that just don't have experience in crypto or maybe somewhere else took profits, who knows, but this is normal, by the way. Uh, the data was bad through the end of the week. On Friday, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported a cooldown in the labor market with August payrolls falling short of expectations. Okay, so I did mention this in my last video. I said something about the job reports being bad. So this is probably what they're talking about. The labor market, August payrolls was short. So it didn't seem that bullish, right? This is kind of why we're seeing the recession being talked about again because inflation, people losing their jobs or... People just don't have confidence in their buying power with the U.S. dollar, which does uh, affect risk on assets, which is uh, crypto, stocks, ETFs, you know, so on and so forth. Um, the recent U.S. labor market results acted as a moment of truth for risk on assets like Bitcoin. 
Okay, they literally said risk on assets, like I said. As the labor market is considered the main sector that may influence the Fed's decision to cut rates this month. Very important. The total market cap of crypto is down close to 30% from its 2024 peak of $2.67 trillion and is now $1.9 trillion, which Bitcoin is still over a trillion or around there right now. So still you know, decently up, though. Old coins like Solana, okay, they're all down. Yes, we know this. Let's see. Crypto equities hit hardest. While it was a rough week for risky assets of all sorts, investors over indexing crypto stocks had it particularly bad. Yeah, so it's actually good um, that we see these discounts because it shows that the, it's following the trend of what's happening in the, in the market. And then it says here, Coinbase stuck in a quip out the SEC. Okay, so this is still going on apparently. Okay, yeah, the, the SEC is still going to target um, you know these exchanges and try to you know monopolize them, manipulate them, cause some disruption, uh, delay this bull run from taking place. So let's go down here. As investors turn to what's coming, one big area of focus is the Federal Reserve. The central bank would could cut its benchmark for the first time in four years when it meets September 17th and 18th. Okay, that's less than two weeks away. Fed Chair Jerome Powell said last month that the time has come. <laughs> time has come to an end. <laughs> the time has come for interest rate policy to adjust. Analysts anticipate either a... 25 basis point or half basis point reduction from the current rate of 5.25%, 5.5%. So a quarter or a half percent reduction in interest rates is pretty much what I see happening. I see more like 0.25%, a quarter percent, but we'll see what happens. Looser monetary policy is typically a good thing for risky assets like crypto, which tend to see more investor inflows when borrowing costs drop, hence the cutting of interest rates or risk off assets like money market accounts, High yield savings, CDs, you get the you get the gist, right? Uh, the latest read on inflation comes Wednesday with August's consumer price index, hence with the job. Okay. The readout is another key metric the Fed will, will consider ahead of its September meeting. The U.S. presidential debate on Tuesday night might also prove a price driver in the crypto markets. Republican nominee uh, Trump has branded himself as pro-crypto for president and recently had won the biggest Bitcoin event of the year in Nashville. I saw that. Many in the industry see a potential second Trump presidency as a catalyst for the industry. I agree, in part because he has vowed to remove SEC chair Gary Gensler, who's long been viewed as a crypto skeptic, which I do agree with. And I did see that funny uh, rhetoric when he was talking at the Bitcoin conference. It was pretty funny. Um Okay, some pretty interesting stuff. I'm um, just curious, what do you guys think about all that um, between the job report and the consumer price index? Uh, Coinbase having they're still kind of in a battle with the SEC. They're not gonna they're not gonna lose that battle. They're gonna win. The SEC is just trying to you know grasp at straws and try to delay this from happening. Like the ETFs couldn't happen. Like these other cryptos they call securities couldn't happen. They even lost to XRP. So if XRP won against uh, the freaking SEC, there's no way Coinbase is going to lose this case, in my opinion. And by the way, I had to tell this video, you know, stop thinking, just do it. Uh, some of you are going to think this is like another rhetoric. John's just saying the same thing over and over. Listen, I'm saying this because the majority of you are not doing what you know has to be done. If you want to be financially free in one year or less, you have to act now. You have to act now. Even if you feel like this is not the right time to do it. You have to do it because the majority of people are on the fence like you. The majority are actually leaving the market or already left the market, and they're waiting until they get this big green flag to come back in. You don't want to come in when they come back in. You want to leave when they come back in or be ready to leave, which is what? Taking profits. You have to start making your moves now, no matter how hard it is, no matter how much time it takes away from your life. If you got to work a second job, I totally get it. None of this is easy. None of this is easy. None of this is going to be handed to you on a silver spoon. Working overtime sucks. Let's be honest here. Working a side hustle sucks. It's sometimes degrading. You're doing jobs you never thought you'd be doing. I have a lawyer in my discord who is working Uber Eats on the side. He's doing what has to be done to make ends meet, to set up his financial future, to set himself up for life. So it's not about 
how you feel right now or hating what you have to do right now. Why do I always say discipline, doing what you have to do regardless of how you feel, because you know, at the end of the day, it gets you closer to your goal. What is your end goal for many of us, including me financial freedom? Are you there? No, if not do what you have to do to get there, do what you have to do to get there. I know this sounds like a preachy John in the house. Uh, I'm sure that Q4 this year, you'll be seeing Santa John, Santa John coming back. Right. But listen, you know, I say this, you know, I know I joke a lot, but I'm really serious about your future because I know a lot of you guys will either, you know, sabotage yourself right now in your progress and, and literally at the finish line, like right there. Or, you know, you'll just have like, you, you'll be like too, uh, what's the word on the fence waiting too long. And then all of a sudden the market just moves without you. And I always say that too, the market will humble you. Yes. But also it will move with or without you. So you have to be proactive in this market, especially when the majority of the rest of the market is reactive and oftentimes in the worst way possible, which in this case is running away saying, help me. I'm down on my bags. Let me, uh, let me get some uh, confirmation bias. Not you, not me. You have to be different. Look at the stats. Very few make money. This is why. This is why right now. Because they're leaving. They're falling for these headlines. Oh, no. Coinbase is down 20%. Let me leave for Coinbase. The whales are betting on you that you're going to do this. Why? Because they know what happens every single time, no matter what. Not just in crypto, but in stocks too. So you have to think differently if you want to live differently in the future. There's no way around that. No shortcuts. No amount of confirmation bias. You can't just say, oh, John, great video. Move on and don't take the advice and go listen to 10 more people. You have to actually apply what we're saying. I know this is not easy. But again, you're going to look back from now, a year from now, and be like, I am so glad I listened to John. I am so glad I took some freaking action. I am so glad I sacrificed my hard-earned time and grinded, put some money in the market, got some great discounts, and waited while the majority did not make any moves. I'm telling you guys, you're going to be so happy. The ones who are making moves right now, when you look back and realize I'm financially free because of your own accord because of your own decisions, because of your own discipline. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, talk to me, see your crypto on buying, selling, and trading next, be a part of private conference calls and Q&A live streams. I'm doing a live stream today, probably at the start of when this video gets launched. If you want to see my profit-taking course, track my portfolio, join a group of diverse investors, over 45 of which have become financially free already, then I encourage you to join my Discord. I'll put a WAP link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. How do you feel about these recent news for Coinbase and crypto? And what are you currently doing in this market? Drop your comments down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Yeah, don't give up on your fight when these times get hard. You each want to teach one lot of minds to scar. Don't let the devil steal your joy and tear your life apart. Don't give in to the flesh because that life is dark. On the highway to heaven, I ain't going to hell. Gotta keep your face strong when things ain't going too well. Prisoner in my own mind, I'm no longer in jail. I gave my life to the Lord, I no longer rebel. Revolution is present, so come and join the ranks. Don't let go of the greed and all material things. Ain't gonna get you nowhere at the end of the day. So every day, give thanks to the one who creates. Best family to have is the body of Christ. Let go of the old you, put some God in your life. Power in the name of Jesus, it ain't never gonna stop. It's time to put on your armor, be a soldier for God.